What's up, baby girl? <laughs> What's going on, everybody? All humans and fellow resellers. It is I, James, redoptionagency.com. 20 plus years selling on eBay. And there's Mr. Vern for your viewing pleasure. And I've got one thing to say. I told you so. Besides, happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. We're going to screw up your eBay. Happy birthday to me. All right. So after last night's video, I told you this was going to happen. And sadly, I was right. Okay. So last night at the 7 o'clock hour, these were all one order. So we had two orders, but with several pieces at the 7 o'clock hour. All right. 8 o'clock, we had four come through. 9 o'clock, we got down to two. 10 o'clock, 2, 11 o'clock, 1, 12 o'clock is 0, 1 o'clock, 2, 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 0, 3 o'clock, 0, 4 o'clock, 1, 5 o'clock, 0, 6 o'clock, 0, 7 o'clock, 0, and now we're going, we're at 8.45, so as of right now, 8 o'clock is 0 items sold. So we go to the traffic. And we'll go over this in this video, what is going on here. So Thursday, I started noticing a problem where the organics that were being sold were being counted as promoted and not organic. Okay. But then as that issue started, my sales increased. So this day, 85 sold. It's saying zero organic. So that's broken. There was organic. It was just putting them all in the promoted. No big deal to me. I don't care. I've got sales flowing in. 61, all right. 85, 59. Yesterday I hit 70, but I noticed midday they started popping back up in the organic again. Like the issue was being addressed and or fixed. And I made a comment on my last video. Let's see if that being fixed or worked on is going to create bad sales where I go back to where I was. You see that, right? I've sold one item since 2 a.m. 2 a.m. is my midnight because they're in California. So going on seven hours, I've sold one item in seven hours. Now, do you think I'm crazy? Now you've seen the actual facts. Me showing you how consistent my sales are normally. And then when this happens, it's like, what the hell? And it's not even a promoted one. It's showing up as an organic one. So something in their promoted system is what is causing us to have bad sales. I That was my theory before, but now after seeing this, it's a little bit stronger than a theory, in my opinion. Something within their sales that were they're promoted on eBay is not working properly and has everything totally jacked up. Uh, the louder you help me make this, the better off it could be for all of us. I called in this morning, talked to uh, um, a lady. She tried to understand what I was saying. I hope she does. She put in a report for the tech team, but I'm not 100% confident in it because she kept saying she understood when she really didn't understand because she had more questions. And I had to keep explaining to her where to go, what to look at. And I hope she understood what I was saying at the end. But it was hard to believe it because she kept saying she understood but then had more questions and didn't really understand because she was, what she was repeating back to me was not what I was stating. So, because she kept saying impressions. I'm like, no, not impressions. Quantity sold. Please look at the quantity sold. Go to the graph. Hover over that day. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So I hope she did do that. And hopefully what she put into the tech team makes sense and that they can look at it because clearly an issue. I mean, you don't go from selling 85 a day to selling one in seven hours. You just don't. And I had like uh, six uh, offers that came through overnight, which was low. 
And then another thing that I noticed was low, and I can usually tell when things are off, is how many watchers I have and I have to send offers to. Usually overnight, when I have a good sales day this day, like today, when I wake up, I'll have about 100 plus uh, offer to watchers to send out, where today I had 56. So that told me today's sales are going to be crappy because nobody's seeing my listings. So we're back to square one. We're back to where I was before that organic number issue started. So something within that organic promoted algorithm system, whatever they got going on, is totally jacked up our sales, in my opinion. So I don't know if you had any of the issues with the organics not showing up on the number of items sold. But if you did, check the difference. And if you didn't, and you were still complaining about low sales, maybe now you see why. So, I don't know. Well, I'm going to go ahead and ship what I pulled last night in last night's video. And then we'll get to pulling the little bit I have today. And uh, get it all sent off. So, man, so disappointing. So disappointing. Such good sales the last few days. And now we're back to square one again. Man, it hurts. It hurts bad. Oh. <sighs> Happy birthday to me. <laughs> All right, let's do this. <laughs> Loving the bids. All right, Gavin, Christopher, 45, one step closer to you. Uh, clearance item sold for $250. All right, I see 27. Temptations, Phoenix Rising. Well, at least now... I think we have clear proof that the issue with eBay has to, is stemming from the promotions. And I don't think it has anything to do with how much percentage you're promoting. Because during this time, I have not changed mine. I've kept it the same. And I actually bumped it up prior to all this, starting to 25%. So I wanted to... See how sales, where the heck is this? Oh, there it is. I wanted to see if sales would increase and stuff. So uh, it's been sitting at 25% probably for the past six, seven days. So I haven't changed anything uh, to change my place in the algorithm. Uh, I've been listing every day, you know, keeping up with orders, etc., and stuff. So... I think this kind of goes to prove where the issue lies, and I hopefully we can we can get that word back to eBay if they don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, but I hope that's not the case. I hope they do know what the hell's going on. But uh, Temptations, Phoenix Rising cassette clearance, another clearance item sold for two fifty. All right, we got a Calvin Klein's jeans T-shirt here, sold for seven dollars. E thirty seven. Kim Hill. CD. And another clearance item. Sold for $250. Clearance, clearance, clearance. Dang, is clearance items all I sold? <laughs> another clearance item, $250. All right, another CD. Something corporate. Sold for $5. 70s classic rock to CD. Sold for five fifty. All right, PC game, dirt track racing, clearance item two fifty. Shelf sixty six. John Denver forever. Three CD set sold for five fifty. It's the baby. It's my babies. Can I come down here with you? Mm -hmm. All right, we gotta look for Queen's rank. Silent lucidity. All right, one hand's petting, so I gotta use one the other hand to move stuff. There we go. I didn't give you no pets, did I? All right, Queen's rank. Silent lucidity. Cassette single. Great band. Great song. And another clearance item, two fifty. Boo! Need some high dollar stuff today. 
All right, Chatter with the Angels, African American Lullabies cassette. Sold for $11, and that squiggly means that was one of my early purchases back when I started the business. The Hastings store that I bought out from the bookstore guy in Springfield, Illinois. <laughs> All right, Adventure Time cap, sold for $14. All right, we got a Cardinals cap here, sold for $8.50. American Eagle, Feel Lucky hat, sold for $11. Jimmy Johnson, NASCAR hat, sold for $7.50. Andy's Frozen Custard. <laughs> it wasn't, I think Andy's is the one that just opened up not too long ago, right up here, because Jen just bought me, brought me home last night a, for my birthday, a chocolate with chocolate cake, concrete, with hot fudge. And I'm like, rawr, 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 rawr. I'm like, eat like it's a big cup, like a big cup. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, so I ate like three quarters of it. <laughs> Bad. All right. So this sold for $14. E65. E97. E65. Great album. E97. Great album, yeah. Hey man, I think I like being scared. And I wish you all were there. Man, I really, really think, really think that I think I like being scared. Alright, where is, there it is. So, are you ready for a cassette light? Sure you are. We got the great dangerous toys. Uh, the greatness of YNT and their longevity. Still out there killing it. We're all part of the Rhythm Nation. And then we've got Scorpions Worldwide Live. And then we got one more on shelf nine. Next to the puppies. And Batman's. I saw that tail move. Oh, yes, we do the Look at that. Look at that. This is what you learn to do uh, when you have two puppies and one hand is usually always full. You satisfy the both with one hand. All right, shelf nine. We're looking for another Y&T album. And I'm not seeing it here, so I got to move this stuff. <laughs> he falls off, falls off the bed wanting a belly rub. I gave you a little one. All right. In Rock We Trust, another YNT album. So, The Oddball Out, Janet Jackson, Poppy within the world of hair slash hard slash glam rock. But, uh, so we got, am I missing one? Or did I get them all? One, two, three. Yes, I am missing two more actually. All right, D98, lover boy, keep it up. D98, lover boy. Keep it up. I like the fact that Wigwam uh, songs taken off from the John Cena uh, Peacemaker thing. That song came out in like 2010, and now everybody's now just hearing it, you know, listening to it the first time and stuff. It's kind of funny to have all that music coming back, being popular, I should say. I think they've been like number one on Apple iTunes and Spotify and all kinds of stuff. So Shelf 7, Striper, always there for you. I'm always there for you. All right, let's find this. I'll always stand by you. All right. Still, Janet, you're still the oddball out here. So we got seven cassettes sold for $17. Most of them were clearance items. So biggity bam, yo. All right, let's finish this off. I'm done with everything. As of right now, I guess there's a few more I'll need to do later. But um, so we ended up with two sales in the eight o'clock hour. We are now at 1010. So we had three paid for in the nine o'clock hour. 
So we're 10 minutes into the next hour and nothing as of yet. Let's see how many of these were today's sales and how many were just paid for from previous. I was at one before. So I'm at five organic and one promoted. And look at the odd switch here where these days when the promoted, you know, when the organic was broken and now I've got more showing up in the organic than the promoted. So that shows my prom the promoted is really being buried right now and or is not working properly. Uh, especially doing it at 25%. So uh, if this doesn't pick up, what I will do is I'll drop that 25% down to 10% for the rest of the day. And then maybe tonight, bump it back up to 20 or something and see if that don't shake something up. So uh, if nothing changes, there's, you can't, there's very little we can do on this end except trying to figure it out and trying different things. I've tried bumping before, but I can't have been able to figure out if it actually does anything yet or not, or if it's more a coincidence. So still working on that theory, but uh, yeah, clearly, clearly pooping out for the day. Bummer. Let's see where we're at. What did we end up doing yesterday? 729. So not crazy, you know, not too bad. Uh, it was no thousand dollar day. And then today we're still only at 75 freaking dollars because most of the stuff would seem like it was clearance items. So we're usually at this time, this is usually 200 plus. So way behind for the day. So we'll see how it ends up. So I'll go ahead and erase this since we're in the 10 o'clock hour. Three at nine, two at eight. Boom. We'll see how the rest of the day goes. All right, everybody. This is unfortunately all I have for the post office, but we're going to get it there before any uh, weather comes in, any freezing sleep, snow, whatever the case may be. And babies, you guys ready? <laughs> Did you say something I recognize? <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And uh, I'll see you in this evening's video, and we'll see what happens throughout the day. So... See you.